Katrin. The port of Hamburg, one of the world's largest trading hubs, is using Katrin RFID technology to optimize its internal logistics. A smart traffic light adjusts its stop signals to the needs of vehicles and pedestrians in the busy port. Thomas Brunner, head of business unit Katrin RFID, talks about the concept and the benefits in an interview. Mr. Brunner, could you provide us with some background on the project? The main topic of this project is to identify trucks and pedestrians, to control the flow of these trucks to the port of Hamburg. Up to now, the trucks arrive without controlling and so traffic jam and problems with the order of the trucks happened. Can you explain how the technology works? For an RFID system you need three things. A transponder with defined data about the goods, pallets or vehicles. A proper select antenna to feed the passive transponder with power and build up a communication protocol by air. And a well-designed intelligent RFID reader to control the antenna and to communicate with the cloud data by the IP network. When the reader gets a command from the application center, for example to read the unique ID of a vehicle, the reader will generate an electrical field and set it to the tag. The passive transponder activated by the antenna field will get this command and send back the required data. In the same way, a writing access can be done also in the transponder's memory. What are key benefits? The key benefits of this project in Hamburg are the security and an optimized workflow. For the security, pedestrians will be captured, waiting in front of a traffic light. This helps the pedestrians to cross their streets safe and the vehicles will be stopped only if necessary. In addition, the quantity of trucks will be catch before they reach the port in Hamburg and so the traffic flow can be controlled and optimized, the red light phase can be reduced. Especially for UHF RFID systems, we have a lot of benefits out of this technology. First is the use of passive transponder. Without battery, the transponder will be activated only with the energy from the RF field of the antenna. This makes the total system very environmental friendly and the cost for such passive transponders is very low. The second issue is that we reach, especially with Katrin RFID antennas, a working range from a few centimeters up to 18 meters with the same technology. The third fact is that compared with optical auto IT systems like barcode, that we have a writing access. So all single steps of a supply chain can be reported directly on the transponder or on a database. The status of a pallet will be marked on and can be changed dynamically. The permission of a vehicle can be set and refused at any time via the IP network. In how far can this technology be applied to other businesses and industries? The so-called Internet of Things created a dramatically change in industry and logistic processes. The need of auto IT technologies in all fields of business and industry is growing very fast. RFID UHF is one of the key technologies for this next industrial revolution. The new standard in smart factories, cloud-based supply chain management and intelligent transportation systems for vehicle identification and tolling solutions. Mr. Brunner, thank you for the interview. Katrin.